Okay, happy Thanksgiving. Um, I'm working on my uh, my bail spikes here. I uh, forgot my camera at home, but Margie was so kind to bring it over for me. But this is what I've got so far. Uh, what I did is I took two pieces of channel iron and I butted them together. This channel's pretty tough here on the corners, and that's where you seem to have the most problem with them. And I, you know, I got to put those those spikes, those weld-in pieces here. Let's see what I got here. Because this thing is upside down, as you can probably see. You know, these things are pretty cool if anybody's never seen them. And they're like a lug nut on the end. Fine threaded paint in the neck too. It takes forever to get anything off of them. But anyway, come on, baby. You can see it's a tapered nut and goes into that socket. And ugh, now you can see the taper on the spike as it goes in there. But anyway, this is how this thing goes. And you cut a hole through there and you weld that in on the inside, on the front and the back, and I'll demonstrate that when I do it. So I've got enough for three of them. I'm going to put them... Oh, yeah! There's my feet. As this thing is upside down, this will be the bottom. I'll have one, say, here, one in the middle, and one, say, here. And that should work pretty nicely. And then that piece up top there, I'm going to weld in that Ford axle. Two of them, just to hold the bales. They don't need to be so so tough. So even though those axles are tough as hell. So anyway, uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I got so far. I'm going to build a cage on the top so that it doesn't roll over with that 11 gauge stuff there. That doesn't roll over and take out my window on my nice new loader. And it really wouldn't matter. I mean, it'll slide forward and come right off. I've done it before. But anyway, so that's the that's the progress so far. Okay, next part is to cut these 8 inch plates. They're uh, 3 16 by 8 inches wide, flat iron, into 3 foot sections. And what I'm going to use those for is to, I'm going to put the holes in for the pins through this. Now, I don't have the round stock to support the pin, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that chunk there. That's a 1 inch that is a one inch thick piece of steel and I'm going to cut that into four inch sections and I'm going to put those where the holes are so on either side that'll give me two three two, you know two and a uh, half inches of uh, of room over to support the pin which is about eh, about what it needs to be so anyway I'm gonna get to torching that or well, maybe I get some video of it with the torch, you make some pretty decent cuts. That, oh, that is my cut. Now yesterday, at the steel place, they were in a hurry. Uh-oh. Look at that crap. Yeah, it's just a crappy cut. I mean, it just got gnarly and nasty, bunch of crap on the back. But now that's pretty nice there, what I did. I'll get the other one set up. So I marked out where I'm going to torch it out. I got up the top there for that piece and down the bottom here for this piece. So we're all marked out. I'm going to torch them out. I got four to do. So I'll do that and then uh, show you how I'm going to measure them and get them into that. We should be good. Uh, I've got the uh, pieces cut. You can see they're gonna fit right down in there like a cell. That should give me some extra strength, uh, like Tylenol, you know. And uh, I'm gonna tack them all together, and then I gotta figure out where the holes go. 
on there and then I'll work on that so that's okay. the next thing I've been welding here for quite a while and uh, I just looked up what the hell this is supposed to be Thanksgiving rain but that don't look like rain that's friggin snow oh well anyway I got this here all kind of rigged up you can see everything fits on in there my battery's about to die so I'm gonna have to go home and charge it for Thanksgiving meal um, but yeah here it is uh, I got a nice weld down on that uh, yeah so this is gonna have to be a two-parter because my battery's gonna go but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna stream up the lines on this I'm gonna cut a 45 out of that on each side so it's not so ugly and that's what it'll be is ugly both sides I'll just kind of you know that way if I do end up on here doing something I don't fall and get hurt it'll be a little bit less likely to try to kill me um, like I said earlier I got all that square tubing that's laying there those three sections I'm going to make a rack up high here so when I got three bales on they won't fall over and hit my windshield and make a mess so that's that uh, I don't know what time it is but Wow, I can't believe this snow. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm a little dumbfounded by this snow. But anyways, I'll keep you posted on this gizmo. Uh, I'm going to go home and eat my Thanksgiving meal. I uh, hope everybody out there in uh, YouTube land has a great Thanksgiving. I know I'm sure mine will be. Because uh, there was a lot of food being made when uh, I left this morning. It's really cool. Anyway. There she is so far. Going to be awesome. That machine will pick up three bales no problem.